In this quick video guide, I want to show you how you can activate a V-Ray license. And this is um, something that could cause you a little bit of problems when you first use V-Ray. You use V-Ray for the first time, so you don't really know how the online licensing works. You could spend a little bit of time in understanding how to do that. But if you watch this video, you're going to understand that pretty quick. And if you are already a V-Ray expert, you should probably skip a little bit the introduction that I will do here right now and just jump to the part where I show the licensing. So first of all, for the one of you who don't know who is V-Ray, V-Ray is a, is a plugin for many different types of uh, software, of 3D software. So you can use it for SketchUp, for Revit, for 3ds Max, for Rhino, and Cinema 4D, and many others. So if you go here in the official website, you can see all the products that you can use uh, V-Ray with. And we are making a lot of uh, tutorials about V-Ray and uh, how it works. With and you can check other videos uh, in our YouTube channel. You can search here for a particular topic. So for example, I want to search for V-Ray and I find a lot of stuff here. And also if you want to support us with the community and the store and with the subscription to the channel. So right now you can download and install V-Ray 5 for many different uh, software. You can buy it, you can try it. If you want to use the trial, you have to create a license. But also, if you want to buy it, you will have to have a license. But I will show you how it works, the license itself. So if you go try, you can download and try. You have to create an account. This trial will expire in 30 days. Uh, you can create accounts and download all different versions of V-Ray and so on. So first of all, just create an account and you have to sign in once you have finished to create your account. If you don't have it, you just have to register. Now, if you are already a user of V-Ray, you already know that. So this is for the beginners. You just have to start by signing in. Uh, well, create an account, sign in, and then download the software and install it. And in this video, I want to show you the uh, how it works for Maya which is one of the most uh, important 3D software. And we already made a guide where we show how to download and install. So this is just to show you how the license work. So right now I am in uh, uh, Maya. I already have installed, downloaded and installed V-Ray, which is showing right here on the top and with this menu. So if I want to launch a render of this scene, which we have prepared into another video, I will click here and Let's delete this latest uh, render and launch another rendering. Now, if everything, everything is good, you should see the render appearing. But most of the time, you won't see anything here. And this is why your license is not recognized. So let me stop this and delete again this one. And I will show you now where you can activate or not. Well, uh, you can see here in my, I have this um, uh, panel, which represents my uh, account which I created just for this video and you can see here you there you go so I, I've logged in so I will show you again how to log in after I logged out okay so I, I have the products here and it will show me the active products V-Ray for Maya and it will show me here the license so if I click here I can see that I have a V-Ray for Maya available but not in use so uh, if you search for uh, how to activate license, you can follow this link, the first link here, which is again in the Chaos Group uh, website, but this is the quick way to arrive here. Otherwise, you go here to licensing, you find all the questions that you need. Well, it's uh, really simple. You, you need to enter this uh, address here. This is the, another way you can do that. And once you do that once, you have that registered. So if you copy this or open it into another uh, page, you can see here that I have I am logged in also here. So let me sign out for, for a second just to show you what happen, what will happen. Okay, now I'm, I am logged out. So if I go back here and try to launch a render again, this red stripe appears at the bottom. This means that I cannot use the render because it's not recognizing any license. So basically to use V-Ray, you need a license. You, you, you can have a remote 
license you you have a, you can have a local license well you have many different types of license but you have to have one so in this case for the trial i'm using an online license so i, I have to get in here or well i can get here in many ways but uh, you can just copy and paste this thing here and just go here and sign in and now you have to sign in your account which, which is this one for me and okay sometimes this happens you just have to wait a little bit i think they they run some tests or something but once you have logged in let's try again there you go so you are now online and they are seeing you that you have logged in and you are uh, online and you can use vray for maya in this case but vray for any other software works in the exact same way this is just about the licensing now you can also use licenses offline you have a different uh, steps to do and you can follow those steps and then you have to kind of download that license and i think that the offline license it's shorter than the online licensing which lasts 30 days okay now if i click here i can see that one it's available and zero is in use but if i go here and try to render again the same as seen now it should work there you go so now i can see that i can still see the message down there but i don't care as long as i see the render here it's good so i can close now just to show you there you go now the the red stripe has gone and to go back here and if i refresh this page i can see that one is in use so this is also useful when you use more than one license if you want to check which one are in use and which are available also if you click here you have more information right here about the laptop and the ip and so on so this is it for this video i hope you enjoy it and perhaps it uh, solved you a problem that you couldn't solve so if you're happy with that please subscribe support us in the community page support us through the store or just leave comments suggestions questions anything that can be useful also to other users so thanks for watching and see you in the next video